Welcome, Midnight listeners. Dolls have always occupied a strange place in human culture. Crafted as innocent playthings, their lifelike appearances and vacant stares have, over time, fueled an unsettling fascination. While many see them as harmless toys, others believe certain dolls hold something far darker within. This documentary will delve into the world of 20 sinister dolls, each with their own spine-chilling legends and documented histories. Are these tales simply urban legends, or is there real terror lurking behind the hollow eyes of these eerie figures? Genevieve, a porcelain doll from early 20th century France, is tied to a series of tragic events. Passed down through a family, Genevieve has been blamed for accidents, illnesses, and even deaths. She is said to move on her own, and family members have reported hearing her whispering in the dead of night, sending chills through those who dare to listen. This doll, believed to have been created by a witch in Old Cabbage Town, Toronto, is said to bring ghostly apparitions and bad luck to those who encounter it. While its current whereabouts are unknown, its legend continues to haunt the local area, with stories of people experiencing eerie encounters with a doll matching its description. Inspired by the demonic entity from The Conjuring 2, the Valak doll has taken on a life of its own. After being created, the doll allegedly began moving on its own, causing fear and terror for its owners. While some dismiss the stories as mere superstition, others claim that the doll is indeed possessed by something dark, its very presence inducing nightmares and dread. Originating from voodoo and hoodoo folklore in Louisiana, the Devil Baby Doll is said to bring extreme misfortune to those who come into contact with it. It is thought to have been used in dark rituals and is believed to be cursed, leading to accidents, illnesses, and unexplained phenomena. Locals warn against seeking out the doll, believing it to hold a dangerous and malevolent power. Emilia is known for moving on her own and, like many haunted dolls, changing her facial expressions. Owners of Emilia have reported feeling her presence in the room as though they are being watched. Paranormal investigators have detected strange readings when interacting with her, and there are claims that she influences the energy around her, leading to malfunctioning electronics and eerie sounds. Perhaps one of the most unsettling locations in the world, the island of the dolls is covered in hundreds of decaying dolls, believed to be haunted by the spirit of a girl who drowned there. The island's caretaker, Don Julian Santana, claimed the dolls spoke to him, moving and whispering at night. After his mysterious death, visitors to the island have continued to report hearing the dolls speak their hollow eyes watching as they move through the swampy landscape. This seemingly innocent Barbie doll was discovered on a shrine in Singapore's Pulau Ubin Island and is believed to be possessed by the spirit of a deceased girl. Visitors leave offerings at the shrine to appease the doll, hoping to avoid misfortune. Locals believe that the doll's power lies in the tragedy of the young girl's death and it continues to be a focal point for supernatural occurrences on the island. Found in New Orleans, this doll is deeply connected to the city's rich history of voodoo. It is said to have been involved in various rituals and has a reputation for bringing bad luck and harm to those who come into contact with it. Many who have owned or handled the doll have reported accidents, illnesses, and strange occurrences soon after. Ruby is a doll that seems to bring an overwhelming sense of sadness and nausea to anyone who encounters her. Though her origin is shrouded in mystery, those who come into contact with her report a deep sense of unease and sorrow. Ruby's history is said to involve tragic events, and she continues to be associated with a traveling paranormal exhibit where her eerie influence is felt by visitors. 
This cursed doll has been passed down through generations of women in one family, with each new owner experiencing the same tragic fate. The death of their firstborn son. The family believes that the doll carries the souls of their lost children, who are heard crying through the night. Despite its sinister reputation, the family continues to keep Joliet, unable to part with what they believe to be a link to their deceased loved ones. Pupa the doll is said to have been made in the likeness of her original owner and has remained in the family for generations. Paranormal phenomena associated with Pupa include the doll moving on its own and changing positions inside her glass case. Visitors have also reported feeling unnerved by Pupa, claiming that she seems to be watching them, and some say they have heard her whispering at night. Discovered in an attic in New York, Charlie has a dark and mysterious aura surrounding him. After his discovery, his owners began experiencing paranormal activity, with objects moving inexplicably, strange noises filling the house, and a constant sense of being watched. Charlie's eerie stare and haunting presence have led many to believe he is cursed or possessed by a malevolent spirit. This 200-year-old wooden doll from Eastern Europe was found under a house in Australia and immediately began displaying strange behavior. Named Let -a Me Out after a spirit communication session, the doll is said to move on its own and some claim that its facial expressions change. Visitors who come into contact with Letta report strange occurrences such as bad luck, illness, and unsettling feelings of dread. Peggy the doll has become infamous for the strange reactions she elicits from those who look into her eyes or even just view her photo. She is said to cause nausea, dizziness, and intense anxiety, with some people even experiencing heart attacks after encountering her. Peggy's notoriety grew after paranormal investigator Jane Harris conducted a session with the doll, during which she reported overwhelming feelings of dread. Peggy now resides in Zach Bagan's haunted museum, where her malevolent influence continues to be felt. One of the first dolls to rise to internet fame, Harold was sold on eBay with claims of being cursed. Since then, stories of tragedy have followed him. Numerous owners have reported sudden illnesses, misfortune, and even death after interacting with Harold. Some paranormal investigators have conducted sessions with Harold, during which they recorded disturbing audio and visual phenomena, further cementing his dark reputation. Mandy's origins are murky, but her unsettling presence is undeniable. Found abandoned in a farm's cellar, she was donated to the Quesnel Museum in British Columbia. Since her arrival, Museum staff and visitors have witnessed strange occurrences, objects disappearing, lights flickering, and unsettling sounds of a baby crying near Mandy's display. Some claim Mandy is capable of moving around the museum at night, while others report a sense of being watched whenever they are near her. Though not a doll in itself, this painting has become a source of terror for many. Known as The Hands Resist Him, it depicts a young boy standing beside a life-sized doll. Since being sold on eBay, the painting has been linked to strange and terrifying occurrences. Owners of the painting reported seeing the figures in the painting move, with the doll's expression shifting or the boy's figure disappearing entirely. Some who viewed the painting in person have described intense feelings of nausea or dread, while others have reported nightmares of the doll in the painting coming to life. This Japanese doll, housed in a temple in Hokkaido, Japan, holds an unusual characteristic. Its hair, said to belong to a young girl who passed away, is believed to grow on its own. The Okiku doll was originally a gift to a young girl named Okiku, who tragically died at a young age. After her death, her family noticed that the doll's hair, originally cut short, continued to lengthen. Over time, the doll was transferred to the temple where it remains today. 
tests have shown that the hair is indeed human, though no explanation has been offered for its growth. Locals believe that the girl's spirit inhabits the doll, watching over her beloved possession from beyond the grave. Annabelle, now housed in Ed and Lorraine Warren's Occult Museum, is one of the most famous haunted dolls in history, thanks to its role in The Conjuring film series. But the real Annabelle is a Raggedy Ann doll with an alleged demonic attachment. The Warrens recounted how a nursing student and her roommate began experiencing inexplicable events after receiving Annabelle as a gift. The doll seemed to move on its own, and mysterious notes began appearing. When a medium was consulted, it was revealed that a spirit was attached to the doll, but soon the Warrens discovered it was something far more sinister, a malevolent entity. Annabelle has since been linked to numerous paranormal phenomena and even attacks on those who underestimate its power. Robert the Doll is perhaps the most notorious of all haunted dolls, housed in a museum in Key West, Florida. Originally a gift to a young boy named Robert Eugene Otto in the early 1900s, the doll became a central figure in strange happenings within the Otto household. Family members reported hearing Robert giggle, noticing him move from room to room, and even blamed him for eerie misfortunes that befell them. Today, those who visit Robert are warned, disrespect him or take his picture without permission, and you may find yourself cursed with accidents, illness, or financial misfortune. Numerous visitors have written letters of apology to Robert after experiencing strange, unexplainable events. Whether these dolls are truly cursed, haunted, or simply the products of collective fear, their legends endure. As each of these sinister dolls continues to frighten, disturb, and haunt those who encounter them, one can't help but wonder, do they hold real terror, or are they merely urban legends? Perhaps, like many things in the realm of the supernatural, the truth lies somewhere in the unsettling shadows. If you dare to visit one of these dolls, just remember, be respectful, or they might just come looking for you. Subscribe to The Midnight Listener, channel for more spine-chilling stories, and join a community of thrill-seekers ready to embrace the eerie and unknown. Don't forget to like, share, and comment if you've ever had a paranormal encounter of your own.